Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a cool background flip transition easy and quick in After Effects. Let's scroll 30 frames forward and split your layer. Now right click on a second part, go to time and select, freeze frame. Once we have a frozen layer let's rename it to car only. Now go to composition, then save frame as and click on Photoshop layers. Name it to clean BG and save it. Go to that folder where you have saved that Photoshop layer and double click on it. In a Photoshop make sure the image is selected and then grab a remove tool and remove the car from a background. Once you are satisfied with it, right click on image layer and click on quick export as PNG. Rename it to clean one and save it to the same folder. Now close Photoshop and then drag and drop the clean one image to AE timeline. Make sure to move it below car only layer. Cut clean one layer, match it to car only layer's length. Now select car only layer and let's isolate the car from a background. Grab a pen tool and mask out the car as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with it and it looks smooth, toggle off masks so we can see the car clearly. Now scroll to the very beginning of a clean one layer and enable 3D on it. Now press R on your keyboard then hold shift and press S to open rotation and scale together. Click on scale stopwatch icon, then scroll a few frames forward and set the scale to 70. Now click on X rotation stopwatch icon and then scroll a few frames forward and change X rotation to negative 90. Let's check what we have got. It looks weird but don't worry we will fix everything. Scroll forward where the second scale keyframe is and select car only layer. Press P to open position. Now click on position stopwatch icon, then go a few frames forward and then move the car all the way up. In my case it's too quick, I will stretch my car's position keyframes until it looks cool. That looks better to me. First step is ready, now scroll to the X rotation's last keyframe and cut their car only and clean one layers. Move your second clip now and we can begin editing it too. Select your second clip and then go a few frames forward and split it as well. Select the first part of it, right click on it, go to time and select, freeze frame. Rename frozen layer to a car only. Save it as a Photoshop layer now and simply do the same we did to the first car. Name it to clean BG2 and save it. Open it in Photoshop now and remove the car from a background. Name it to clean 2 and save it in the same folder. Now drag and drop it to AE timeline. Move clean 2 layer below car only layer. Cut it to match car only layer's length. Select car only layer, grab a pen tool and let's mask out it as well. Once you are satisfied with the mask, scroll to the beginning of car only layer and select clean 2 layer. Enable 3D on it and then press S then hold shift and press R on your keyboard to open scale and rotation together. Click on scale stopwatch icon and set the scale to 70. Now click on X rotation stopwatch icon and set it to positive 90. Now scroll to the middle and change rotation to 0. Let's quickly check it. Nice, we are almost done. Now right click on scale and select reset to bring scale to normal. Select both scale keyframes and slightly move them forward. Now select car only layer and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon. Move car's position all the way down. Then scroll to the moment when background is flipped back to normal. Right click on position and select reset. Cut car only and clean two layer where the last keyframe is. And make sure to move your actual video where car only layer ends. Let's check what we have edited. Transition is ready but, we need to smooth the motion to make it look insane. Scroll down to your first clean layer and select X rotation keyframes, press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. Now select your second clean layer and select rotation keyframes and press F9 again, then go to graph editor and copy my curve. Go to first clean layer again and select scale keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. We don't need to change curve for a scale. Now select car only layers position keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Select another car only layers position keyframes and press F9 there as well. Select second clean layer and hit F9 there too. Let's check the transition again. Everything looks cool but, let's add a motion blur. 
Select car only and clean layers and enable motion blur on them. That looks amazing. To make it look more insane we can add shake effects. I will use my shake presets, to get them, check this video's description. That's how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.